it was a cool morning. We got out uh, kind of on the late side, about 10.30 or so. And we were looking for fish in like sort of 30 to 50 feet of water, trying everything, just not getting anything. We're diving down to the bottom, um, you know, holding on, throwing up some sand. We were seeing a lot of fish, uh, just couldn't get them to come around. So we moved into some shallower water a little later in the morning and started playing around with the lobsters and, and uh, looking for, for some snappers and holes. And uh, again, we found a couple of fish, but uh, they were pretty skittish. We were, we were looking everywhere. Um, a little bit later in the morning, about 12.30 or so, I see this ledge and uh, I see this shadow underneath it from about 30 feet. So I swim over and I approach it from the inside. I'm sure there's a fish under there. I just have no idea how big it is. I see his head and uh, he turns away and, and is getting ready to bolt. And I had just like a split second here to take the shot. I take the shot behind his gill plate uh, as he's coming away, hoping the, the uh, spear point would lodge uh, up towards his head. And uh, he's going to pull me right through this reef. So I let go at the last second and I tried to grab the spear as it's coming out the other side and I just missed it. Uh, and this just bruiser swam off and I'm looking at my spear going, oh, fish of a lifetime swimming away. So I'm thinking, you know, game on. We got to go get this guy. And uh, we just start swimming as hard as we can. Um, heading kind of west towards uh, where we last saw the fish. And my uh, my 12-year-old son, Matthew's chasing along behind me. I'm looking over my shoulder. He's keeping up. And we get to this next reef, and we see uh, we see some blood. And sure enough, there's my spear line on the ground. My heart kind of sinks, but I'm like, well, maybe the fish is here. So put the tip back on. We're scouring the reef for like five, ten minutes and not finding anything. And then, uh, God, two reef sharks show up. And I'm thinking, oh, man, the window is closing here. So we, uh, we continue moving west, and uh, I see another column of blood in the water, and I look up, and there's this monster flopping around on the top, and I grab him by the gill plate and call for the boat. You know, we're in pretty shallow water. We're in like 20 feet of water. We got this big fish flopping around on the surface. We got blood in the water. There are a couple of sharks that we just saw moments before. I gotta get my boy out of the water, so he hops into the boat. I turn to the third diver in our group, Mike, and I'm like, Mike, we got to get this big boy into the boat quickly. Cover me. And so I'm swimming over to the platform. I hoist him up. Mike's got my back the whole time. The uh, water plays tricks on my eyes sometimes, and I thought we had kind of a nice size fish. I was thinking like, you know, 25, 30 pounds. And I lift his head up, and I'm like, whoa, this thing is really heavy. And, and I think at that point, it dawned on me, wow, we got a real big fish here. Um, I lifted it up and the thing is flopping around. I'm like, holy cow, this is this is actually a monster. This might be 40 pounds, maybe 50 pounds. I put it down, I'm looking at the thing, I'm turning the mic, I'm like, this is just awesome. And I think at that point we realized we really had a special fish on a pole spear. Um, you know, sometimes uh, it's just better to be lucky. We were in the right place at the right time. We've been diving deep water pulling out all the stops, looking, trying to get a shot at a fish and couldn't pull it off. And, uh, you know, basically I'm looking for lobsters with my son and uh, I saw this, this big boy, you know, in 20 feet of water and uh, was just fortunate enough that all my stars aligned and I was able to get a shot off at a fish, you know, I was obscured by the top of the reef there and uh, hunt of a lifetime.